Hello and welcome everyone. Today I want to show you how to easily add sun tracking to your solar panels in Space Engineers. It's uh, now very easy to do and doesn't require any mods or scripts. And having this ability to set up solar panels like this gives you a lot of options, even just for aesthetics in Space Engineers. So let's go ahead and get started here. I like to start with a pillar, um, about 10 up, just to get some height and off the ground and away from your other buildings. You can always make it taller if needed or shorter if, you're, if you'd like. And then uh, let's start out. We got the pillar. Now we need a rotor for turning left and right. And for the up and down part, we'll use a hinge. And then we need some scaffolding blocks here for the panels to sit on. So I place one in the middle and then I'm just going to come out uh, five on each side here. And then I like to place the solar panels on the bottom part first just so that it doesn't flip over right away. And I try to have them all face the same direction. So we're just placing four and leaving plenty of space around the hinge and rotor there. And then we're just going to do the same thing on top here. There we go. And so now we have solar panel panels up and running and getting some power. But they're not aiming at the sun yet. So let's go ahead and add a camera here to the part that we do want to face the sun. I'm putting it on the flat side. And make sure that this little dot is on the bottom left when you place it. And then we'll come on down to the bottom. You can really put this anywhere on your base. But I'll put a turret controller here. And I'll also place an extra battery. Usually one battery can cover four panels just fine. So then we're going to go to the turret controller and just open it, take a look at the menu, scroll down to where it says assign azimuth rotor, and we're going to set the rotor for that, and then assign elevation rotor, we're going to set the hinge, assign camera, going to set that camera, and then if you press control and click on any of these bars, you can type in an exact number. So let's go ahead and do that on the next three bars here for velocity, for azimuth, elevation, and then the angle deviation. And we'll set them all to one. And this just keeps it from, um, from moving too quickly. And then scroll down until you see always aim at sun. When you click this, it'll start running. And we can see it uh, slowly move in to face the sun. Hopefully not too jittery because we slowed it down. And congratulations. You have a working solar array tracking the sun automatically, attempting to face it even at night. <laughs> and uh, you can see these quickly go up to full power. And so just being able to do that is a really nice thing to have. You can do this in space. You can do it on the moon. Those are kind of places where you might need it. Um, I like to do it on planets now just because it lets me kind of uh, design my base around things like that. It has the movement and the interaction with the sun. Um, it just, it's a really nice thing to have around. Like if, if you have a normal base and then you add a solar panel next to it like it just looks cooler so let me know if you have any questions or comments and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video have a good one everyone